Just a few weeks ago, here in southern Bangladesh, this patch of land was all forest. Now, it's a growing and makeshift city. It's hard just to capture the size of this place. 400,000 refugees now live here. These are the Rohingya Muslims. In recent weeks, they've all fled their homes in Myanmar, where the military and Buddhist mobs have been burning villages and killing civilians in what the UN has called a textbook example of ethnic cleansing. In the camps here, the first challenge is to find food and water. Most of the aid you see on the ground comes from volunteer Bangladeshis like these men. They pack up their trucks with secondhand clothes and water and whatever they can get in their villages and mostly just throw it out of the side of a truck. But this is proving to be dangerous. At its best, it looks like this. At its worst, it can quickly devolve into chaos. The strong push to the front and get all the food. The weaker ones are left with nothing. It seems like everyone in the camp has a horror story to tell. I met 75-year-old Anwar Begum with her son in her tent. A few weeks ago, she says the Myanmar army came and burned down her village. As she fled with her family, she says they singled her out, pulled her aside, and smashed her with a rifle to break her arm. She's too afraid to go to the doctor and is living in constant pain. The huts all around are built from bamboo and tarp. Across the camp, you see new ones going up every day. The mud is rough and deep. At times you get stuck and have to be dug out. <laughs> the number of refugees coming from Myanmar to Bangladesh is slowing, but people are still coming in. Families like these are some of the lucky ones. They've escaped persecution back home, but they will now face a new and uncertain life in these treacherous camps.